Hi. Today I want to talk about um, a defensive technique that you can use and you can practice at home and then use anywhere um, in, in, in a confrontational situation. So perhaps someone that comes at you and you know they are um, intending to harm you or they're intending to you know make an argument that may lead to a fight. And the last thing you want to do is have a fight in the street. So today I want to show you a technique that you can use to defend yourself and one that I've actually used to defend myself in the street. Now this technique you can actually use in the ring as well. So fighters will use this technique in the ring to defend themselves when their opponent is attacking. Um, essentially what it is, is is a push kick. So it's a it's a push kick where you push the opponent away. I'll go through the basics. When you're confronted with an aggressive person, say in the street or in the pub or whatever, wherever you're at, make sure the first thing is you've got to make sure you keep a distance away from that person. So the first thing is just make sure they're not within striking distance. Because if they come up towards you and they're within striking distance, they could just knock you out. So you've got to be aware of that. You've got to have that distance. So the first instance, just push, push them away. And then if they continue to be aggressive, or if they look like they're going to start striking, um, that's where you use your push kick, push them away. So now I'll demonstrate that on the bag. Now this bag is about the same weight as me, so it weighs about 75 to 80 kilos. Um, that's a heavy bag, so you know it's, it's a good approximation for a person. It doesn't matter if the person's heavier than you or lighter than you. If the person's heavier than you, the push kick's going to still create that distance between you and the person and the aggressor. If they're heavier than you, you'll end up going backwards. So that still doesn't matter because you're still creating that distance. In this case, the bag's roughly the same weight as me. So the push kick is just going to move that bag away. In doing the push kick, make sure you raise the leg up, push down, bring the leg back down. Now, in kickboxing, when someone's doing a push kick, you're likely to catch that leg and then take them off balance. And so gain advantage. So that's why it's important. So that when you push, bring the leg back down. You push, you do it quickly, bring the leg back down, and put it down. So out, down, and back. Okay. And at all times maintain that distance. Now, if they continue to come at you, just keep doing that. In fact, that's the practice that you want to do at home. You want to practice that push kick to a point where it just becomes you know, easy for you to do. And you can do it with alternating legs. I'll show you from a different angle. Okay, here's, here's from this angle where you can see the bag and how I'm going to push it away. So essentially, First thing, make sure they don't come close to you. They don't, make sure they're not within striking range. Now, that's just as simple as that. They come back, just push them again. When doing this kick, try and have your back foot on your toe, so you're lifting up like that, so you're on your toe. give you the most impact and most stability. When you're practicing with your bag, now when you're practicing with your bag, you can practice by pushing the bag and then on its way back, you push it back away. Because what's going to happen in real life is that person, that aggressor, is going to keep coming at you. They'll want to have a smack. You know, so you've just got to stay strong and just keep pushing them away, right? Until the point where they're just going to give up or you're going to hit them so hard 
with your push kick that this is gonna you know hit them in a spot where it's just gonna hurt and they're not gonna want to fight you anymore. And that's essentially what happened with me when I was younger. Using the push kick, I was able to kick the aggressor away when I was in the fight. And that's all I wanted to do. I didn't want to smack them or or uh, you know break their bones or anything like that. I just wanted to kick them away so I can say, hey, come on, we're not gonna have a fight, but you know, if you're coming at me, I'm just gonna push you away. And that's what you want to do. Um, now, if you don't have a bag, you know, you can practice on a tree. So, same thing, just wear some shoes, some sneakers. And when you're pushing on the tree, you essentially will be pushing yourself away from the tree. So you're still creating the distance, but you're just learning to do that push. And just try it with different alternating legs. Now in Muay Thai or kickboxing, that's one of the exercises that you can start with when you're warming up on the bag. So I generally like to start with that because it warms up my legs. And after a while, you'll be quite good at it. And you'll be able to pinpoint your kicks so and you can kick straight to the face. Not that you'll need to because you just want to aim for the center of mass. But you could essentially it towards the face, the nose, um, once you get good at it, but it's just practice. Now, if you get a bully who's really aggressive and um, persistent in trying to come at you, you know, and, you, and you're pushing them away, you're pushing them away, but they keep coming, the, the one other thing I would uh, recommend having in your bag of um, techniques is, is a roundhouse kick to the thigh. So. I've got another video where you can have a look at that technique and perfect that technique, but essentially, you know, the roundhouse kick is easy to learn, it's easy to deliver, you don't need to be flexible, you don't have to do fancy stuff, and it's one of the most effective kicks, in fact, it's probably the most effective kick, in that most people don't sort of expect a kick to come at their, at their legs, but if you, if you deliver a kick to the thigh effectively, it'll put them out of action and essentially you know I don't want to break the bones or kill the other guy I just want to put them out of action so they're not attacking me anymore so if I'm doing the push kicks and the guy is persistent and he just keeps coming you know keeps coming no matter what I do I deliver the roundhouse kick and if I deliver it well and you know, with time, you'll practice and you'll get it to the point where you can deliver it quite well with your with your shin. And you hit their thigh. But believe me, they're not going to want to come at you anymore. So you know, you don't have to get into a fist fight because I mean, that, you just don't want to go there. You want to keep them away, push them away, and if they're persistent, smash their thigh, and they'll put them out of business. So you know. That's your best defensive um, technique.